Wow. <laughs> What's up everybody? I'm uh I'm in Austin for the first time. Pretty exciting stuff because apparently um this is nothing like how Austin is. And so I'm going to give you a tour of the way that Austin never looks, which is that it's like all iced over and freezing outside. So you can't see it yet, but all the trees are covered in ice. It's pretty spectacular, like really gorgeous. And yes, I'm freezing right now, but I'm really enjoying being freezing. <laughs> So look at these trees. Look at that. It's like there's no, there's nothing on the ground, but the trees are like so pretty with the little ice on them. Isn't that gorgeous? So, so pretty. Um, so I just saw Tony Hinchcliffe for a second, um, had some nice coffee, now I'm wandering on the streets, I'm gonna try to find myself a salad, I have no idea what temperature it is outside, but look at that, look at that. I'm not, I don't even have clothes for this kind of weather. So pretty. It's like being in a cold plunge right now. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Is that not epic? Pretty epic. So I'm having a lot of fun out on tour with Incubus. And, um been really like healing for me because of the loss of Jeff um, so it's been really nice to put my attention onto some music and be with friends I've known these guys for a really long time uh, but we've never played together I mean I've jammed uh, with Mike the guitars before and Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty cool. Look at these trees. Just... Can you believe that this is my first time in Austin? It's pretty amazing. So I hope you guys are coming to these shows because I don't know if this will ever happen again meaning like me playing with Incubus. Um, and it's really, really fun because I grew up listening to their music. And so it's already like in my DNA. So to play it is pretty radically cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Oh my God, I'm freezing. My hands are like gonna break. I should have like gloves. Well, who knew? Who knew? Oh, see, this sweet green place is closed. Then where am I gonna get a salad? Damn. Oh my God, an iceberg just like fell from the, that light. That would have hit me in the head. Pretty dangerous stuff. Um, okay, well. No food for me. Everything's closed here because of the weather. It's not like that bad. I don't get it. I don't get it when people like freak out over the weather. But that's what people do. Oh, cold-ish.
Have any of you guys come and seen these Incubus shows yet? Have you, have you showed up? Let me know. Let me know if you were at one of the shows. I've already done two so far. Woo. Okay, is this restaurant open? Look, oh, it looks open. Let's see what they got here. Salad. Salad. Pasta. Seems good enough. Whew. Okay. I'm like, I'm indoors now. Cucumber. Tomato. Tomato. Radish. Carrots. Onions. That sounds good. I'm gonna have that. Ooh, my nose is Okay, I can take my hood off now. Oh. Here I am. Um, I don't know where I am, but I'm in some restaurant. So yeah, um, first time live streaming in a while. I'm happy to see you guys. And uh, sorry, I've been a little bit silent. It, uh, it's been a little bit rough, honestly. I've been up and down with the whole Jeff thing. The whole Jeff thing. But, yeah. Like I said, playing music, being on stage is probably one of the most healing things that you can do. Um, so it's such a such an amazing opportunity, such great timing that this incubus thing happened. It couldn't have been better timing. Um, and I'm really grateful to like all of you because I know I know you all sent really really nice messages to me, and I haven't really been able to properly go through them all. It was a bit overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed. Um, so, uh, I'm going to come to all of these places that you guys are suggesting. And I'm sure there'll be a tribute show for him. Yeah, being on the road is so healing. Like, there's something also about being in an empty, like, hotel with, like, no attachments. There's no associations with anything in the room other than your suitcase. Kind of, like, helps you, um, just helps you process things. Hey! How are you doing? Good. Awesome, I'm Jordan. I'm the same page. Okay, what's up, um, I'm just gonna go straight for this mixed green salad. Which one? Taverna salad? Uh, Taverna. Okay. And can you add some grilled chicken and avocado to it? Okay, cool. What do you want to drink? Um, chamomile tea. Thank you. Say hi to everyone. What's up? <laughs> I never live streamed in a restaurant before, but uh, it's kind of funny. I'm actually having dinner in like an hour and 20 minutes or something. It's so funny. Yeah, you gotta you gotta have the greens. You gotta have a little protein, add the chicken. You gotta add some avocado for the fats. Yeah, I'm trying to live the healthy life. And yes, it is ironic that I'm in Texas ordering a chicken salad. But, you know, tis what it is. Yeah. I know you guys are all um, devastated about Jeff as well. Uh, we all lost 
a giant and one of a kind person. Nobody was expecting it. Yes, I'm reading I'm reading these comments. Favorite Incubus song? That's a good question. Okay. So, I'm going to say, oh my god. Uh, well, like, firstly, I just got to say that I grew up with Make Yourself, um, songs. Okay, so my favorite songs I would say are, I love playing Are You In, it's got such a great bass line. And Circles is super fun to play. Uh, I love playing Stellar. Actually, like, all of the songs are super fun to play. Like, it, they have great bass lines. Um, so, yeah. It's just trippy playing these songs that I grew up listening to. So, I hope you guys do uh, end up coming to the show. I've been playing with them for two shows, and I got three to go. And then hopefully, their bassist uh, is is better. He's a friend of mine, Ben, and I just uh, yeah, I hope he's back real soon. Seeing that there's some people that were here, like at um, at the Costa Rica show, that was awesome. It was like this huge. If you saw the video online, there was like this huge wind tunnel. Um, like I couldn't even see my bass or the pedal board for like most of the show. So it was pretty funny because like sometimes when you're doing like big jumps, like on the fretboard you're going like from like the lowest note to like super high it's like you want to kind of like look just to like double check because every instrument is like slightly different and so it's like you know to get that land um you want to just look just to make sure like i mean i've done like stuff with my eyes closed and you know i have a pretty good uh likelihood of, of hitting those notes but i i just I just like to look just to be sure and I couldn't because of the my hair was like this for basically the whole set. It's pretty funny. So it was a great test for a first show. <laughs> so the other shows have been a breeze. Literally all their songs are amazing to play live. I'm trying to think what others... I mean, I grew up with The Warmth. Like, that's such a great song to, like, sing along to. Um, what else is fun? I mean, yeah, Nowhere Fast. 
No Way Fast is super fun to play. So now you guys kind of know my... Um, Someone's at stoked to see you in Berlin and Hamburg, but I don't know that I'm gonna be in Berlin and Hamburg. I'm just doing these five shows. Hopefully, Ben will be um, will be better by then. I will tell Mike that he's the man. He already knows he's the man. He he really is the man. You guys have Austin suggestions. Um, I'm taking suggestions right now. Ooh, it just got pretty dark. You guys buying badges? That's very kind of you. I'm just here to hang out. <laughs> Who's coming to these Texas shows? I just want to know. Um, when I'm done with the Incubus stuff, I'll be going home back into the studio and working on a bunch of different projects. I'm excited about. You'll hear about sooner rather than later. I can't believe my luck with uh, this Texas weather. I didn't have any clothes either. I just like, I just, this is all my like LA gear. I'm not like prepared for this temperature. Ooh, it looks pretty good here. Um, favorite bass? Well, that's a very interesting question. Now, about five days after Jeff passed away, um, Mike Dirt from Green Day, the bassist, came uh, over to my studio with um, a bunch of vintage instruments, right? And we're going through them, there's jazz basses, there's key basses, and he pulled one bass out, it was a, a white jazz bass, 63, and I started playing it and we both got goosebumps. It was like kind of crazy, and it, it felt like Jeff was in the room. And we both said it, like basically at the same time, and so he's like, well, you gotta, you gotta use this bass. I'm like, yeah, no kidding. So that's been the main bass that I've been rocking on this tour is, is that white bass that Mike Dirt brought over. And the bass's name is Jeff. So Jeff has been treating me really well. And I swear to God, when I play that bass, I feel so connected to Jeff. It's ridiculous. Like, I just, I can't explain it. I don't need to explain it. I think you guys have probably had some kinds of experiences like that sometimes, these types of spiritual things. And um, I just have that with this bass. And it's, you know, I just, I feel like, when I'm playing this bass, I'm hugging Jeff. <sighs> and I am hugging Jeff, because the bass is like, it's Jeff. So that's 
pretty sweet. It's been very healing. Yeah, he is with me. So anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna eat my food. It's great to great to connect with you. Sorry again for my disappearing act. Um, need a little space, but I'm back. I'm here, and I'm very very grateful for all of the condolences and messages that you guys sent. It was really really sweet. And my condolences to you guys, because this was a universal loss. It wasn't just me, obviously. Um, I am, my heart is with Sandra, his wife, who's one of the greatest women I've met, ever met. Um, the way that she supported Jeff was so unbelievably amazing. Like, just like the perfect partner that, that he had. And yeah, they were like uh, they were like parents to me. The way that they treated me, um, stayed with them quite a bit, and um, even taught me how to cook. So that's it. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining me, my little Texas adventure. Maybe I'll log in again later, or definitely over the next few days. Try to get some um, some cool footage while I'm out here, or stream or something. All right, see you guys later.